It is adding to the uncertainty. I, I think we're not giving enough focus on the positives mm. associated with that. Mm. Uh, specifically, emerging markets, uh, India uh, has received a tremendous fiscal boost from this collapse in oil prices. It's because estimated they're a net oil importer. Net oil importer. It's estimated that for every dollar change in the price of oil, either costs or saves. In this case, India a billion U.S. dollars. Mm -hmm. So there's been a, a huge boost to some of the emerging markets. Likewise, even in the U.S. and indeed Europe, the collapse in the oil price presents a big fiscal boost, a stimulus to the economy, mm -hmm. uh, which I think we need to acknowledge. Investors are wondering about the political implications, but you know that's that's something that will percolate away, and there'll be other challenges as well. But I think we need to focus on the benefits of this. Is it not offset though by the concerns around the coronavirus? That's what I worry about because you have to ask why we're seeing this move lower in oil, and surely part of it is the story between Moscow and Saudi Arabia. But there is the concern on the demand front, and you can say Americans can get a boost from lower gas prices as the president of the United States has, but if they're staying at home, does it matter much? Uh, I think that there is some l limited crossover between between the coronavirus and, and oil prices. But specifically, you know, we only saw the collapse in oil prices come after this breakup of the OPEC plus right. Russia meeting earlier this week. Oil prices were a little bit weaker as people started to reduce expectations for global growth. But this sort of market share war that's broken out between Russia uh, and, and, and Saudi Arabia, that is, in my mind, quite separate from the coronavirus. You don't think it's because they're so worried about the demand picture, though? Um, no, I, I think they're concerned about the, the, the emergence of American shale oil producers as mm -hmm. the major swing factor in the global oil market. Mm -hmm. I think that's really what it comes down to. And they see this as a good opportunity to try and squeeze some of those companies out. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.